Welcome to Nord Keyboards, presenting the new and exciting Nordlead A1. Hang on for a few minutes and we'll show you how fast and easy you can create a great sound from scratch. Starting out with an init sound, we'll listen to the basic waveforms of the A1. Here, you have the ordinary analog waveforms like the sine, triangle, sawtooth, and square wave but also the extended analog waveforms, the pulse waveforms, the digital drawbar models, additive bell tone models, digital FM synthesis models, and also formant models. Depending on the oscillator configuration, you can have one or two oscillators for each voice and set the modulators, the LFO and the mod envelope, to do different things. First, we have pitch mode, shape mode, and sync, which all use one oscillator. The noise mode, adds an additional noise source to the oscillator. In detune mode, there's another copy of the same oscillator that can be detuned slightly or in semitones. The partial mode adds a second oscillator, which is set in a harmonic relationship to oscillator 1. There's also an FM mode and AM mode where the oscillator is modulated by a sine operator. The A1 has a wide range of nice sounding filters. You'll find the standard low pass, 12 decibel and 24 decibel filters, the mini and TB filter models from two classic synthesizers, and also band pass and high pass filters. The filter section features controls for cutoff frequency, resonance, and drive, and can also be modulated from the LFO and modulation envelope. The unison feature lets you fatten up your sound by layering slightly detuned voices. The A1 features three effect sections, the insert effects, the delay, and the reverb. The insert effect consists of flanger, Phaser, Ring Modulator, Chorus, Ensemble, and Drive. The delay features tap tempo and ping pong in stereo. Reverb features five types of room simulations. The Arpeggiator, the LFO and the delay can all be synchronized to master clock or external MIDI clock using different time divisions. The mutator is a great tool when looking for new sounds. It can create endless variations based on an existing program or surprise you with something completely different using the randomize function. The like button can be handy when creating a sound, but you're not really sure if this is the final version of it. When you press like, 
a snapshot is saved to the temporary like buffer that can hold up to 50 sounds. When you're done editing, the best sounds in the like buffer can be saved to a permanent memory location. The like buffer memory will be erased at power off, so don't forget to save your favorites. The Nordlead A1 is four-part multi-timbral, which means that you can stack up to four sounds on top of each other, pan them, or split them over the keyboard. Additionally, each of the four slots can have their own effect settings. This combined setup can be stored in a performance memory and quickly dialed up in a live situation later. To learn more about the Nordlead A1, visit your local music store and play it today. Thank you for watching.